Historians believe that the first game of tennis was uh, played in the 12th century in northern France. However, lawn tennis was uh, first played somewhere between 1860 and 1865. Um, the modern game of tennis originated in Birmingham in England in the late 19th century. This was as lawn tennis. But during most of the 19th century, the term tennis was referred to as real tennis and not lawn tennis. Lawn tennis was played by both the upper and the lower classes, where the upper class sometimes wagered against the lower class um, so that they could win bets. <clears throat> uh, the difference between lawn tennis and uh, real tennis is that real tennis uh, used to use walls around the courts so you can hit off, whereas lawn tennis doesn't. Real tennis is a lot more like how we would say is squash. Um, the LTA, which is the uh, Lawn Tennis Association, is the governing body of British tennis. Uh, tennis is enjoyed by uh, millions of people of recreational players, um, but it's also really popular uh, worldwide for like spectators, especially when um, specific countries are hosting the Grand Slams, such as um, Roland Garros, Australian Open, US Open, um, and Wimbledon. Um, in two thousand and seven, there was approximately seventy five million participants worldwide who played tennis. Um, this is also on the increase. Um, because of the amount of ten of people who play worldwide, there has to be a lot of opportunities to be able to excel in the sport. So over four million people play tennis regularly in the UK, and there's also there's also nearly over eight hundred thousand uh, tennis clubs in the UK, which means that there's lots of opportunity to be able to improve in your game. Yeah, because everyone has to come from somewhere. Um, in industrial Britain, uh, tennis was formed as real tennis. Um, which is was really similar to racquetball and squash. It was only available for the upper class as they had the availability to take the time off work that they needed and they could also get the access to equipment um, and clothing as you had to have a specific type of clothing that you could to play tennis in. And when the middle class uh, started to play tennis, um, this was when lawn tennis was formed, but it was mainly for formed for women, because this means that they could dress uh, appropriately in, in the use of all white. Um, it wasn't really popular in the boys' public schools, because uh, it required a lot of space, um, and only really two to four play, uh, people could play it at once. And the whole aim of the sports that the boys in public schools used was that they could be able to benefit from like teamwork and cooperation. Um, tennis doesn't really, it can improve teamwork when you're playing doubles but most people just played singles in those days. Um, nowadays tennis is for all ages and all abilities so you can either start when you're really young around about four or you can start playing later. Um, there's loads of different tournaments um, all over the UK so for women's singles, women's doubles, men's doubles, men's singles and mixed doubles so there's loads of opportunities you can play for all your different you can choose a club that you wish, wish to play for and then you can compete in the Har Harrogate just District Tennis League um, which is where you play loads of different clubs um, all the way across North Yorkshire really. Um, tennis has a lot of media coverage in the in the UK especially when there's the Grand Slams on um, such as like Wimbledon um, there's a lot of coverage. It's usually on BBC One, Eurosport, or ITV. Um, the there's never really been allegations of discrimination in tennis. Um, because um, it's it's a really popular sport of all different races. Um, it's quite a high class sport compared to games such as football, where discrimination is a lot more noticed. Um. The equipment is also quite expensive for tennis. You've got your average racket costing maybe £140 um, compared to like, games such as football and um, rugby. They're not really expensive games to be able to play. The membership also is a lot more expensive for tennis. You usually pay around about £400 a year for a membership in a club. Um, it's also a really popular sport in Australia and the US or USA. Um, because they have the Australian Open and the US Open there, which attracts a lot of media coverage, a lot of spectators from worldwide, and a lot of different uh, types of players go and play in it. Um, there's also a lot of uh, sponsorship and scholarships available in these countries, um, where you can get offered a scholarship to go and play in that country. Um, and they'll pay for all your food, accommodation, and you get trained by like specialist staff, um, in the hope that 
eventually you might become a professional. Um, the climate also in Australia and the USA favours tennis a lot more. Um, a lot more clubs um, have outdoor courts, whereas in the UK a lot of clubs mainly have indoor courts because the climate isn't very good in the UK. There's also, with the amount of rain there is, um, you can't guarantee that you're going to be able to play outdoors. Um, the US Open and the Australia Open are also two, two of the of the biggest uh, championships that you can play in. Um, that's another reason why they're so popular, um, and that that's another reason why also there's a lot of sponsorships available. Um, there's also a lot of funding and media opportunities um, in these countries because um, a lot of money is spent a lot of money is spent on sport. It's a massive major investment for the USA and Australia as well, along with like rugby and soccer.